Hey everybody, guess what? Look who I got with me. I got Dr. Scott. He uh, is driving up and we're gonna, well, we're not gonna tell you what we're doing yet, but he's up in Jacksonville for a very special reason. Mm -hmm. And maybe we'll have some video of that a little bit later. But we are going to do the unprotected left-hand turn. This is his first time. I'm driving, he's watching, but we're gonna have a little conversation. We'll do two or three, get him on film, and uh, maybe see what you think about this turn. Yeah. We've got the, um, the route in here, and believe it or not, we're driving 11.4.7, which just came out this morning at midnight, mm -hmm. and I have already done this unprotected left-hand turn video, but it has not been released. So this might actually be the first footage that gets released of this turn. So I've got a left-hand turn in here, and here is where I engage it. All right. So for those who don't know, the unprotected <laughs> left is known as Chuck's left, okay? Yeah. <laughs> if everyone was wondering. So here we are, and this is the fence obstruction at yes. the stop line. You can't see anything. Got an obstruction up front. He's actually blue. And now see how far it creeps? It's creeping. And now it's here. creeping. Yep. I'm safe. And you can see where the creep limit is on the screen right. here. Right. The screen's got me, you know, I I couldn't go all the way to that blue line on the screen. Now, I don't know what about makes you. it interesting is you also have another vehicle he's to take a left yep. turn the other direction. And he's identified. But look at the screen and see where the creep limit is. Would you go that oh, far? Oh, no, 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 <laughs> I wouldn't. Is it, and that's the thing is usually yeah. when I'm doing this, I'm not looking at the creep line. And I'm hitting the brake because I'm saying, what's it doing? Is but, it going or is it creeping? But that's where the car thinks it can go. And legally, I shouldn't say legally, I think that is the extension of the white road lines. But that is too close to 60 mile an hour traffic in my mind. Yeah, okay, yeah. so here's our gap. It's gonna happen. And it's going to go right here just fine. And it waited okay. just fine. And because there's no car here, it's going to roll it. It's not going to stop in the median. Yep. And it's... Well, actually, it's, it paused there. A little there, bit of a pause. Okay. And then it went into the middle lane. It's uh, doing this middle... Do, do you it do the middle it, lane? It, I don't go to the middle lane. I was going to go no, the I think, aren't, aren't you supposed to go into the closest lane legally and then you come I, over? It's... People debate me in my comments about that, but I, I prefer the left lane. It started doing this too. middle lane on 11 .4 .4. I, I would I would prefer the left lane too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so I'm going to show you one more thing while we're here. I, I think I can do this real quick. There's no cards behind me. I'm going to go ahead and do FSD return here and it should remap quickly. Look what it mapped. Mm -hmm. A U-turn. I love, no, okay. it'll, it'll map it, but it, okay. won't, do, it, but it won't, won't do it. It won't do the U-turn? Watch the quagmire it gets in here and how it thinks about this. Okay, it's coming okay. up. It's got to stop. Look at the steering wheel. Yeah, it can't do the wrong way. No, but it's like it's it like, wants to go create a radius yeah. of turn. So it does not say unable to complete maneuver. It does have a U-turn mapped, but it's stuck. Yep. And the noodle does look funny. The noodle looks like because of the direction I, and, of the wheel, it's going out into the left lane a little bit and then gonna come around. Exactly, exactly. And if you look through the rear view cameras, I am not cross that white line, but yeah. I got a lot more left no, no, than no, I do no, no, right. No, 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 I'm the one on the, on the line, <laughs> you're not. <laughs> okay, so after this car passes you to the right and it's clear to the left, I'm gonna tap the accelerator, the courage button here, yes. and watch what happens. No, no, you're giving it an look, ego boost. Now I, now I let go, okay. and it stopped. Now I'm gonna press again. And, yeah, 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 it won't. You got to do it. You got to do <laughs> so it. So yeah. it remapped the turn to go in there. So even yes. though the planner said U turn, it found a path that it was just going to go in that street. Well, it was a little bit different, right? So unsuccessful U turn. So I always like to try to comment those. It's not a, they've never said it works. Some people swear it works. I'm telling you, it doesn't work for me. So I think it has to do with the radius and the visibility it, it, it has. It must. Uh, there was one that uh, Glenn Cook and I did yep. over, actually around in Jackson. Yeah. Where there was a U turn and it was actually. It was right where you go to an on-ramp onto to 95. Yeah. And it ended up doing the U-turn there correctly. Was it Otherwise, a really wide intersection with lots really of visibility? Wide. It was really wide. I, really and wide. when you think about it, it, when it's perpendicular to its turn, the only camera it has for measuring lateral distance is the B-pillar. It has one camera with no parallax to measure. Yeah. And the last thing you want to do in the middle of a road is a three-point turn when you oh, thought yeah. you were going to exactly. make it. Exactly. That's unsafe. Exactly. That's I think it might be unsafer than an unprotected left turn if you misgauge the radius of turn. Exactly, exactly. Um, and the radius of turn is gonna depend upon your vehicle velocity as well, and so. Even from a stopped position, it has to be 100% mm -hmm. confident it knows mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. how big it is, and which is why I think it was not sure about that arc. Yeah, and the thing is, not only does it have to be confident, we have to be confident. So it has to let us know, hey, I'm confident. While here. we're here, you are right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do another south. Kind of see how I kind of look for these. I look for the traffic through the fence. Uh, but I've got you're it. cheating a little bit here. Okay. <laughs> I know I got some a little bit of traffic coming. Okay. But it doesn't always work. And I tilt the screen here so we can kind of get the view. And once again, you can see obstructed, but obstructed. it's honoring the stop sign. Yep. Now it creeps out and it has traffic. It needs to wait. And right here's where I'm hovering. 
And this is going to be a very easy right. one with a very large gap, both directions again. And I think it's going to go after this last car. Let's see if it goes a little bit smoother here. What I normally don't like about this situation is you're blocking the sidewalk. But right now it should be committing and it's thinking. It's thinking. But now it's going to have to wait. It waited just a yeah, little long. So now watch what here. it does here. Okay. So now, now you, oh, so it's confident. Yeah. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I've got the, but this is where it won't go when the left lane clears. And this morning, oh, uh, a little bit of a teaser, it, it was seeing the right gaps, but it was committing too late. And then it would commit in front of a car that was hauling butt towards me. But today it looks like it's wait. Or so it wants to wait. Well, right now we have the whole, everything clear. Yeah, and now here it goes. So you're saying even if the left lane is clear, it won't it come won't out go. there. It well, generally, I, I kind of don't do that as left well lane. because I never know if a car is going to change into the lane anyway. Yeah. And now I would do it with a Tesla. My ICE vehicle, I wouldn't because I would never have the acceleration if that right. car is doing it. But with this, I know, ah, no problem. I could get in there. The problem is it's so shy. It doesn't know how much horsepower it's got. And so it does drive a bit like an old lady. I've never seen it use everything it's got. So it has no escape velocity yes. mode. It just, which I wish it would. And, and a lot of people are like, you should have just let it go. I'm like, I can't just let it crawl out in front of fast oncoming cars. Yes, yes, um, yes. I refuse to do and that. And the thing is, when you do that, are you giving it training data to say, hey, no, this is how you're supposed to do it? Or does it get kind of lost again as like, oh, we had that one down, we'll keep doing I it the same way. I think the only way. training data we're giving is disengagements and interventions, mm -hmm. and then they're looking at it and saying, how do we solve it? Right. And then they create a different acceleration curve. I don't think that the car is remembering, oh, he preferred to do it that way. But now, into the V12 discussion, I don't know. If V12 is purely training end to end, like Hots was saying they did in Comma AI, it truly may be taking video of how humans drive to train the models. I'm hoping so. That's a completely yeah, different yeah. question. I, that, that, that's what I'm hoping is that, it, it, I wish we, we'd be able to rate it because just about every other app I have, I can't use it without it coming back and I saying, know. how was that? Give, how many stars? And so every time it does a turn or something like that, I would like to say that was a one star or five star. Yeah. So I do want to encourage good behavior. The problem is we're only encouraging bad behavior and it has to be like really bad behavior yeah I, I agree and and the way we use the intervention pedal and i don't a lot of people say oh fsd beta is great if you use the pedal and i'm like yeah you can tease it into being good but i'm not 100 percent convinced that's not that's that, not that they're yeah. taking all of those interventions as oh we've got to fix that yes that's what i that's what i wonder is is that an, yeah is that an intervention or not but I, they're probably counting them but you know i you know, I, I don't know that they're out there trying to solve all the interventions, but maybe they're collecting heat maps where interventions are and they take a circle and go, oh, we get a bunch of them here. And then they go look at the problem and then try to fix it. Mm -hmm. um, but let's do one more. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, let's make it. Let's absolutely. make it a so nice let's, odd let's number here and see. Yeah. But so far, we're two for two. It did a, it did a nice job this morning. Uh, another kind of uh, spoiler alert. I had several disengagements. It was at rush hour though. It was at, oh. it was at 7:45. Okay. And but the reason I had disengagements this morning, it didn't make the wrong choice of the gap to go. It used the wrong commit and it was too latent on when it committed. So it yeah. was like it went in a gap long after it should have gone and or right. I would have gone and then when it went it didn't give anywhere exactly. near the acceleration exactly. it needed to to be successful. Right. And that was a little bit of a new behavior. Um, I don't understand that hesitation. Is that why it will start to go and then not commit and you know there's a point of no return and you've got to figure out this is the point of no return go I you know I do you think it's latency or is it just like oh let me double check or reality is changing so fast those probabilities are jumping up and down and it, it just be. has to keep it, deciding it could be it could be and then suddenly it gets a really strong signal to say no don't do it that was right. a bad choice and it's like okay. yeah it was a bad choice a half second ago right now you've got no choice yeah. but to go so once again another big gap we're going to need to wait from the right and you that was really nice them. yep and it's i mean that's wait. i mean that, Without me looking on there, you know, it felt like yeah. you could have been doing the driving there as far as coming yep. out. That felt very human. It did to a me. good job there. And yep. what I think has made all three of these really, really good was nice gaps on the primary yep. turn. And then getting in the median is, in my opinion, see, what's well, okay, it, it going to go? Okay, it's going. Yep, it's, it's going. That it's was going. a big enough gap. Big enough, yep. The reason I think it usually does the second decision even better is because it's got two cameras to work off of. It's yeah. got the rear view camera and the right repeater yeah. that have an amazing view of that angle. Right. When it's coming out, making its left turn decision, it, 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 B, pillar, B, B pillar is all it's got. That's it. Yeah. And it is, you know, whether you think it's an amazing camera or not, it's the poorest camera 
on the car, at least it has the stated range and resolution uh, that is as low as all of the lower resolution was. The Trinity camera up here has the highest um, range and, and uh, field of view, but lowest field of view, highest range. So I don't know, what did you think of the turn? Okay this, like time, this time, okay, this time it looks like it's not even it, thinking it's of not it. Mapped. Oh, it's not so, mapped. Oh, it's not mapped. So, yeah, okay. I, didn't, I didn't map it that okay. time. But um, um, it's, it's, it's not that bad. I mean, I thought it would be a real nail-biter in the case of I was driving white knuckle. Um, I have a, a left turn that is it's at a 60-degree angle. So it's not 90-degree? And, and the thing about it mm -hmm. is, is there's um, a lot of cycle. Uh, there's two bicycle lanes on both sides. Uh -huh. There's a sidewalk. And it creeps out, and sometimes I don't know if it's committing or just creeping out. Yeah. And a lot of times I will block it because if I'm sitting there for a minute, and a lot of times I can see we're going to be here for a while. There's yeah. a lot of traffic. I know within the next 30 seconds or so, someone's going to show up on a, in a cycle, or someone's going to be walking. Yeah. And you want to keep the sidewalk open. It may be a little bit different here because I have not seen any. I don't get yet. much of that. You're right. You, you it it completely it. ignores keeping the crosswalk clear, but, except for VRUs it sees. It will honor them. But it's uh, yep. but if you end up waiting, you're blocking it. Yeah, and and you know then you get the evil eye. And the problem is most of the people that are walking around there they know me. So yeah. the last thing I want is keep getting evil eyes from them. It's like, don't you know how to drive properly? So. <laughs> So yeah. the, there are times it will make it, but usually it's when there's not a whole lot of traffic and yeah. then it will be fine. But even then, sometimes it'll start to go and it gets halfway out and the car will do something like this, almost like it's stalling. Yeah. And I'm wondering, it's like, wait a minute, you know, it feels like an ice vehicle the way it's stalling, but I know it's not. Yeah. God, I, sometimes I just really wish I knew what, you know, each of those lunges meant. Yeah. You know, is it is it a commit and then a cancel or is it a, no, let's go a little further out and it's take a, another it's look. It's a sharp turn also. So you get to remember, it's doing like about a 120 degree right. turn to come around. So it starts to come around. It's almost like, oh, I've got to reassess right now. And yeah. it reassesses that, oh, maybe I need to, to change the velocity a little bit because it's too tight. I don't like the acceleration. So there may be something strange about it and how it has to blend that kind of curve. Yeah when yeah. it's not a nice 90 degree. Well, cool. Well, just to save the, uh, maybe the best for last, if it is the best, mm. where are we getting ready to go? The Tesla Service Center. Isn't that exciting? In Jacksonville. In the Jacksonville, Jacksonville Tesla Service Center is where we are going together. Now, I'm going to be changing my, my shirt, which will give the hint later on, because oh. this is the beta testing shirt. And of course, John will be very happy that I'm wearing I don't it. Know. Though he won't be happy that I actually get to experience 1147 before he did because he probably doesn't even have it. That's right. He doesn't even have, I think, 44. Yeah. So he's like even a rev behind me. All right. But anyway. So, in a, in a very Corey, Corey Steuben very uh, way, uh, what does Dr. Scott do? What's he famous for? And why in the heck would he be in Jacksonville? Hey, stay tuned. Maybe hey, find out. Hey, yeah, let's find out. Thanks for coming, Scott. Oh, it was awesome. Chuck, it's been great. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. We'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Bye.